A major WWE title change was a last-minute decision. Plus, a new NXT championship has been revealed, and we have the reason for Alexa Bliss's WrestleMania absence. It's all in the wrestling news right now. We had an NXT title change on Raw. It took about 10 minutes for Brom Breaker to right the wrong from stand and deliver and defeat Dolph Ziggler to become the new NXT champion. I kinda, yeah. I was very surprised by that. Really? Yeah, I thought that Ziggles was going to sort of run the roost of NXT for a few more months to come, take on I, some younger talent, work with them. It'd be nice, but uh, everything we heard about WWE was that they were just rock hard for Braun Breaker. Mm. So. <laughs> <laughs> there ain't no breaking their love for Braun. And uh, that was proved on uh, Raw on Monday. Now, Brian Alvarez uh, gives us a bit of intel on this from Wrestling Observer. He says, uh, I heard from someone who is close to folks in NXT who know a lot about what's going on there. And they said, it looks like Ziggler is going to be champion for a while. This sat That was on Saturday. Then on Monday at about 11.30, I heard from several people that we're going to have a new NXT champion tonight and it's going to be Bron Breaker. And... From and also, what's interesting about this in terms of how last minute this was, yeah, about three quarters of an hour later, um, many parts of America, I think over here we did as well, maybe there was commercials running for NXT, right? For tomorrow night, it's okay, like, see the fallout as Dolph Ziggler returns as NXT champion, okay? So they forgot to change out the so ad, they didn't yeah, change well, out the ad, there's nothing ads. to change out the ad for, I guess. And the thing is, as well, that Brian pointed out that uh, where he was watching it, they actually played the wrong advert, so it was them saying the fallout from Stand and Deliver with Dolph Ziggler da, 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 on NXT tonight at nine, so that was obviously <laughs> the one for tonight now, yeah, yeah. but even even so, it was still very much painting as Dolph Ziggler is still the champ. Come see what he does next. It's a very last-minute decision. Does Ziggler really need the belt, though? If he's to stay in NXT, I don't think Ziggler needs the belt. No? Because Ziggler already has the prestige of being a you know multi-time champion now on a world scale, depending on which brand he's been on. So... Mm, I don't think it's so much that Ziggler needs the belt. I think it was good for the brand it's to have a yeah, to have someone up there that can star, have those matches. And, a, and I guess a big baddie, like an M. Bison figure for the younger guys. But I they did try it with Charlotte Flair on the women's side of things in 2020 yeah. when they made Charlotte Flair the yeah. NXT Women's Champion. And there were some banger matches in there, but I don't think it had the same desired effect. No. It was as, as a Ziggler run may have done. Mm. Ross theorized that the title change came because um, they, this is a, a Ross theory from yesterday, that they've actually seen the attendance from NXT stand and deliver and gone, we've got to do something big for NXT when there's eyes on it. So Raw after WrestleMania, let's switch yeah. the belt then. Maybe. It's a, you know, it's a big moment. It happened in front of a main roster audience with a lot of eyes on it. So, you know, fingers crossed that is going to translate into views that are going to come across, but only time's gonna tell but at the same time i think it's right and it, you know wwe have been all about we're turning it back into a developmental brand well then get it on a developmental guy so yeah there yeah. is that uh, so the belt was switched uh, literally and figuratively in the last few days we have mm. a brand new nxt championship well, belt well well this is it well it, it is new we don't have a new belt we've got the exact same design but with colors i uh, uh, now what i'll say I, is i wouldn't say the plates don't look like they've changed there mate but they do though because do they? if you look at the n and look at the t they're the new nxt logo Oh, okay. It's a really subtle we've got change. A really su we've just got a slight angle there. Yeah. A really long bit on the end for no reason that makes it really difficult to use the NXT logo in any thumbnail <laughs> that you may need to use it in WWE. Yeah, I see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was really I was really nervous because I knew an NXT title, physical title change was yeah. forthcoming because the women's title uh, was changed at Stand and Deliver. Uh, and I was worried we were going to get like a rainbow splattered nightmare. Um, but this yeah, is a really subtle change and I like it. It's quite dignified. The, the colors yeah. especially, I think, are quite nice, like pastel 90s style colors. Uh, just very happy they didn't throw it into a vat of neon paint. There was and then worry. just swap out all of the ring lights at NXT for like, you know, what do you call it? The the, the UV lighting. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and it plays and, and it plays the restless theme music as they come out. Yeah. And all you can That's see is idea. just like the white bits of everybody's gear. <laughs> <laughs> so, do you know what? There is a company right now somewhere that has the money and the sense to do that. Please do. Oh yes, yeah, sense. That's the word. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, let's wrestle in the dark. <laughs> let's stay on title changes. There was a title change on NXT last night. Toxic Attraction, uh, Gigi Jolin, JC Jane winning back the women's tag titles. They lost at Stand and Deliver. So uh, a, long, a slightly longer title reign for Dakota Kai and Raquel Gonzalez. More than an hour this time, which was yeah. nice. Um, Mandy causing a distraction on the outside, a bit of a disturbance on the outside. Toxic Attraction Mandy. win by distraction. So. New champs once again. I mean, I don't know why they swap the belts anyway. I don't know whether it's the I, idea of having a kickoff show where a title changes hands. It's always dramatic. Mm. It's always something that kind of makes you go, Ooh, well, maybe they're changing a lot of belts tonight. Maybe this could be the sign of things to come. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Uh, sign of things to come uh, for the tag division. So uh, a debut to the tag team division on NXT. I don't know whether you call this a caller. A call it's across. like a call across. Yeah. There's a bit in here. Uh, the last night, the, the mystery attackers of the Creed brothers were revealed to be NXT UK, former NXT UK tag team champions, pretty deadly. We, we me and Aiden in the office said the other day, do you know what? Pretty deadly would be good to move across. Yeah, they, definitely. They definitely I, heard us. I Well, you know, it, it's only potentially a good thing for NXT's tag division as a whole. Mm. You know, the tag divisions in WWE often feel a bit forgotten about. Yeah. Uh, and, it, you know, any sort of new exciting injection of blood into that is going to be you know, perfect. And it uh, neatly ties up a story that you and I spoke on last week. Oh, it does, it yes. It brings it back to it because <laughs> they have new names, don't they? They do, they do. So uh, we now have Elton Prince, as we reported on, which is the former Lewis Howley, and Kit Wilson, which is the former Sam Stoker. So Elton those Prince? names have been... Uh, but they've been registering more names recently. So could you think that, do you think there's maybe more call across is happening? Very likely. I think there is an argument to be made that... And, and I don't say this with like with a sneer or anything, but like there's there wasn't as many eyes on um, Lewis Howley or Sam Stoker. Oh yeah, to but truly I, I mean, make it and they make them keep yeah. their names. But I think I think NXT as a whole is, is you know seen by more eyes than NXT UK, so it is a it is a good thing on that front. But it'll be interesting to see if we get more people called across how nxt uk is going to change mm. because the landscape there's been pretty not fixed but it's been pretty like level and it's been pretty set for a while so yeah so there should be there could be potentially some mix-ups i mean yeah they are, they are bringing new people into nxt uk so there might be a little bit more of a churn mm. um we've seen that lizzie lizzie evo has been signed who's a, a fabulous talent from the uk and now she's part of nxt uk which would suggest to me that if they're bringing in more female talent for nxt uk we might see more nxt uk talent head across the pond slightly nicer weather so yeah. good luck to you if that is you uh finally a uh, few people were, were asking about this over the last few hours uh, alexa bliss completely absent from wrestlemania we know she wasn't booked for the show but um she wasn't at uh, the fan access at the signings she was nowhere of two major absences that i was kind of like really mm. like nothing okay uh, we now know why she wasn't there, don't we, Sam? Yes, we do. It's because she's getting married today. Yay! So Alexa Bliss is getting married to Ryan Cabrera. They shared this on Instagram over the weekend that it is indeed today. Uh, it's last minute wedding prep, apparently being the reason for the mania, uh, the mania absence. I think which that's I a think good reason. Yeah, it's pretty justified. Mm. I imagine getting married is a very stressful thing. Uh, apparently they got engaged in 2020. She had a bachelorette party a month ago and had a wedding date planned for the spring of 2022. Just a few hours on the gram because that's how the kids say it. Alexa Bliss put, let's get married. So it's today. So all the best to you. Make sure someone catches the bouquet. Make sure you don't get married in a random Vegas hotel. It's not as glamorous as you think. <laughs> it's just not. <laughs> it was so rushed and horrible. <laughs> I wouldn't wish it on anybody. I'm serious. <laughs> if you want to elope, it's great, I imagine, because it's just like, hey done it's like that's it but yeah no <laughs> not, you're not a fan of a shotgun wedding in las I've, vegas i've done it i've know, done it no you are very much our britney spears yes <laughs> we appreciate that's you me. for it <laughs> more news throughout the day at cultaholic.com these two beauties are available at cultaholic.com yes, you could have them Ooh. here and pretend that we're reading the news to you all the time sounds good i thought it might cultaholicshop.com stay safe love you bye we need to reset Sam Driver. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, update Sam Drivers. Oh. That's a computer joke.